We told you the president will be here tomorrow. Well, Vice President Pence was in South Florida today, and he was greeted by protesters. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is in West Miami Dade with details on why the vice president was in town. From homophobia to immigration to Russia, protesters had a lot they wanted to say to Vice President Mike Pence during his visit to FIU. To be honest, I didn't know what to put on my sign because there were so many issues that I wanted to talk about or at least communicate to them. So I made an erasable sign that I could change throughout the day. The Vice President, along with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, are here meeting with leaders from Central America for a prosperity and security summit. Let today mark the beginning of a new era here in the new world. Pence is touting the assistance the U.S. is providing in the region. American assistance in business development and agriculture in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras in recent years has created more than 40,000 jobs and lifted tens of thousands of families out of poverty. He's also promoting the president's agenda about getting tough on the border and illegal immigration from Mexico and Central America. And we cannot overestimate the importance of strong borders. Under President Donald Trump, the United States borders will be strong. But the borders of the United States will always be open to legal immigrants and the lawful flow of commerce. Pence is urging Central American countries to work with the U.S. to fight drug trafficking and violence and to build up their economies. A flourishing economy gives people a reason, a reason to put down roots in the land of their birth and to grow rather than fleeing to the north. Good paying jobs give people an alternative to a life of poverty, hopelessness and crime. The conference continues on Friday where the focus will be on security in the region. In attendance will be the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security. In West Miami-Dade, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.